before we get in straight to the video, which I'm going to be reviewing, I first want to say thanks so much for the 100 subscribers. I might be doing a milestone, but not in this video because I have one special thing prepared. Well, again, once again, please smash that like button. And guys, thank you so much for reaching 100 subscribers. It means the it means a lot to me. I've been getting a lot of likes, a lot of views. One of my videos got 1k views. I might put it all over here. They even might have gotten more. I Today, I want to be doing another video. But, you know. Yeah. So, before we get into the clip, please subscribe once again. Maybe we can go to 200 next time. So, please subscribe. And then... Please turn on post notifications so you know once a new video uploads. And uh, please just smash that like button and let's see in the clip. Hey guys, I thank you so much for it. Well, as you can see here, today we're going to be doing a toy review on this. Dun dun dun. Let me just move the camera a little bit down so you can see the desk. Yeah. So, yep, yeah. So, as you can see here, as you can see this, it's the Kids Lab combination lock. Com combination lock. It says here, build this multi-purpose combination lock and learn the mechanism behind it. Choose your own secret code to ensure that you can unlock your treasures. It also a, it's also a coin bank and a secret message holder. So if you want to know this, please have a pen and paper. I have some here. So please have a pen and paper next to you. So you know like you know when to write the code down just in case you forget it. So right now I'm going to be opening it. I have scissors here handy. So I just have scissors. As you can see. Always keep some scissors handy. And remember adult supervision is needed. So we're going to be going to the back before unboxing it. So as you can see here. Here are some pictures. Sorry for the lighting. You might see the reflection of the PC of my computer. As you can see here. Here's the thing. Here's the what's inside. This like one sticker pack. There's also letters as you can see here all that let me zoom it in for you i don't think you can see it just yeah yeah i'll just be telling it for you maybe i have to remove this because of the plastic it's kind of you know messing up the view so i'm going to be opening this so i can see you open this i'll keep my plastic here Getting it now, you can see properly. So, as you can see here, it says it contents a set of plastic lock mechanisms, a screw, a metal shackle, a sticker, and instructions. Makes a 6 centimeter and 12 centimeter combination lock. So, it can also be a combination lock like to lock your doors, a secret message holder, a coin bank, and you can create your own code. As it says here, see, there's a pen, so you write your own code down. And here's a sticker. So, let's just open it right now. There's also an instruction manual, so I might be reading that. And then I'm going to be showing you the end product. Yeah, so I finished this, so I'm going to keep my scissors aside. So as you can see, this is what comes out. The instruction manual. Some stickers. You might even write your own. As you can see, you can write your own as a key because it says create your own code. Like you can write like my name, like I or you, whatever, like your name. You can also you can write. So basically, you can also cut this in half. So I'm maybe be doing that. I'm not going to create my own code. Code. I'm going to be doing my normal numbers one. So I'm going to be keeping it inside now. So also you can be here in my box. So as you can see, we have a sticker pack. A plastic, you have to keep this in. The materials in a plastic bag and an instruction manual as it's here. So without further ado, let's get to this. Okay, so we need scissors again. So we're gonna be opening it like this. And open. So as you can see, here are the pieces. There are actually a lot of pieces. So as you can see, yeah. That's why I wanted to put the camera a bit down so you can see all the pieces. So as you can see, all the pieces, right? So now I'm going to be 
doing the building and yeah as you can see we uh, get these things which we connected like this yeah there's another piece here there's four uh, extra pieces so i'm gonna be bringing it to you back once you know we uh finish this so i don't want it to be boring for you watching me fix all this new instructions and doing all that so i'm gonna be doing it uh off camera and i'm gonna bring it back once i finish making this so we'll see you in three two hey guys we're back but they're not uh, completely finished this is the result we have now so as you can see here now you can technically like move it around but this is still open but now you can actually move it around and this is when you keep this inside but but there's a special twist to it there's actually you know um even though this is like this you have to actually add a screw here then set in a code you have then after you add the screw you have to add it like this the first technically you have to align some specific numbers together like in a straight line basically in this line you have to align all those numbers basically me twist it like this like in one whole line you have to align them and then you're going to be inserting them through once you insert those numbers now when you make a twist you cannot open this as it is locked but once you again make it like this to the exact same number you can again remove it at once so yeah once again this is what we have here till now that's why we need a screw so we can lock it tight in so as you can see now now we can just move it freely because there's no code inside and it's completely open so let me just press it more yeah until you heard a snap so as you can see i've been doing this by myself i've been doing it all the way until this i'm waiting for the screwdriver that i'm not gonna do my father's gonna do it so yeah gonna be inserting it so yeah so i'm gonna be coming back in some more seconds so guys we are back i had to uh, ask my father to screw this thing in that's the only thing you need to screw that's the only thing that you have to ask, ask an adult for help or if you know how to do it then you can do it by yourself that's the only thing i need help for then for that we need these stickers i'm not going to be creating my own code i'm just going to use these stickers so as you can see you need to remove them one by one and it's not like individual like you remove one like that you have to actually attach it very carefully one at each block so you attach one here and you just keep on rolling make sure the whole thing is like straight and now we keep it like this okay so as you can see here i did this now i have to keep it on the exact same like location like starting from zero i have to put it like that okay so i have to do it right now so to put from the beginning it cannot be jumbled up or it'll mess up your code it says right here it cannot be jumbled up it has to be in the exact same order so then you have to make your code and then i'll put it here and now i need to stick it it might be going sometimes to the edge so just be careful like mine is going to the edge all the time done you have to continue this lap for three more times and yeah the fast time lapse because i had to do it or else it would have been very boring so as you can see here i'm done it looks amazing now and now it says that we have to attach this Then we have to attach this. Now we have to touch this here. Okay, it's going to be a bit hard. Okay, attach. So see, this is the hard part. So you might need to ask an adult for some help. Okay. Banana. Yes, it's fully attached. Done. Keep. So this is a bit hard. So yeah, so I might be back be well before I push this in. Of course. Yep, it can move. 
So I'm not seeing any fault in this. It's still good. I'm just gonna be, you know, trying to attach it. That's my only problem. So I might be back. So yeah. So as you can see, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, here's a finished product. You can move it around, and I will not tell you guys the true code. It's kind of hard to guess. Trust me, it is very hard to guess. You will not try to guess it. You will never actually guess it. Though I don't think you even can guess it. So it's that hard. So yeah. So guys, please make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notifications. Thank you for a hundred and see you guys next time. Good bye.